Hi everybody, I am so happy to announce that I have found a system preventing the small hive beetle from entering the hive. It is so easy to make and install and the material was right under our noses and we didn't even know it. If you're like me, you've lost foundations, hives, and had to clean up a maggot mess. When I first started this project, I wanted to prevent the beetles from entering the hive, making a barrier that the hive beetles couldn't walk on. From there, I made two test boards. I made them the same. One I made with flat flanges, one I made with angled flanges that are angled downwards. It's got a three quarter inch board that represents the standard hive bottom. Now, the flanges stick inside three eighths of an inch. To make them equal, I wanted to find out which design would perform the best. Now, on the first test, I used uncoated flanges, but I did put aluminum tape on the inside edge of the three quarter inch board. So from there, I made a beetle vacuum. It's made out of half inch, quarter inch vinyl hose. You stick that up under your hood or your veil. As you inhale, you suck up the little beetles. It works amazingly well. It's still filled with beetles even now that I used for the last test. So first test, <clears throat> got equal amount of beetles. Put them in both bottom boards, covered them up. Waited overnight, opened the plastic container, the same amount of beetles escaped from both both test boards. There wasn't any difference, and the angled flanges are hard to work with and difficult to make, so I'm not going to use the angled flanges. I used all my testing on the flat flanges. Now, remember, I was looking for a material that I could put on the bottom side of these flanges that prevented the beetle to walk on. So from there, I tried. UHMW tape. It's like Teflon. I tried Teflon tape. I tried stainless steel tape. I tried Mylar tape. I tried aluminum tape, of course. I tried Velcro tape, both the hook and the loop. Nothing worked. I tried Teflon coatings, vinyl coatings, different textures of paint. Absolutely nothing worked. I was becoming so frustrated, I was just going to give up and live with them just like everybody else. But I wanted to give it one more shot. So I went online to look for another product. I came on this website. They were talking about a hydrophobic material. So I investigated that further and found out the company Rust-Oleum makes it. It was called Neverwet. So I went to the big box store, got the Neverwet, made a new set of flanges, put it on the bottom, got the beetles, put them in the trap, covered them up. Next morning, beetles are still in the trap. So I put honey and pollen on the outside to try to lure them out, cover them up for another night. They were still in the trap. So I got a bright light and I shined inside the trap in the corners where they're all huddled up. They'd scurry around, they'd climb up on the aluminum tape, then they'd start to climb on the never wet and fall right back down. So apparently the surface of the never wet that repels the water actually repels the pads on the beetle's feet so they can't walk on it. Eureka! I found something that works. So from there, went to the hardware store. Got 20 inch aluminum flashing, 16 inch aluminum flashing. I cut each strip an inch and an eighth, which would give you three eighths of an inch that sticks on the inside. Now, I tried all different ways to try to attach these things, pins, clamps, nails, nothing worked. Staples. Just a staple gun, one staple at the top works perfect. You can make them close together so you don't get much waste. They won't wobble back and forth. Now, I had a bunch of hives to do, so I use a paper cutter. You can cut a bunch of strips in a short time. But if you don't want to make this investment, a pair of scissors will work just fine. Now this is the product information sheet from Rust-Oleum about Neverwet. And it states that it has been used in the food and cosmetics industry for 20 years and it has been deemed safe by the EPA. Now that is a big thumbs up for me because I wanted safe, something safe for my bees. My bees. <coughs> so for your mounting board, just take a piece of plywood, you can make this as long as you want, do as many strips as you want. You angle it backwards, so when you place the board on top of the aluminum or the ply board, you've got a firm mount for it to be sprayed. So for product or safety, 
use a rubber glove or a nitro glove. You dampen a cloth with the acetone. Wipe the acetone on the one side. As soon as that dries, wipe it down again with a dry cloth. Take step one. Spray it on. Wait 30 minutes. Take step two. Spray that on. Wait 24 hours. It's done. It's as simple as that. It is done. This is what the product will look like from the big box store from Rust-Oleum and Neverwet. Now, all you've got to do is pop the strips off, come over to your bottom board. You want to make the side flush and the back side flush. Make sure the strip is flush with it. You place the other strip on the outside, back, flush, side is flush. You only need two staples, one and two. Now you staple the fourth strip on the front of the entrance on the bottom of the high body. Four or five staples will work just fine. So when that is done and you place it on top of your bottom board, you put your hive staples in. Now you've got an inside perimeter that the beetles cannot walk on. They cannot walk up through the bottom anymore. Now, you have to use stainless steel staples. You cannot use steel. The steel will cause electrolysis, the strips will corrode, and the staples will rust. Always stainless steel, and I like to use the 3 8 inch ones. Now, I make my own vent tops and my bottom boards. And what you want to do is, on the bottom of your vent, is you want to place a piece of window screen then a piece of eighth inch hardware cloth. Staple that all around, you're done. Now, if you've already got the vent screens, just take the regular window screen, place it on the inside, and staple it all the way around on the inside so you've got a tight fit, there's no gaps for the beetles to get into. So you place that on top of your high body. Now you've got a barrier that the beetles cannot get through on top and you've got a barrier that the beetles cannot get through or can't get through on the bottom. Now you're still going to have beetles scurrying around on the inside. I like to use the Beetle Blaster from Lawrence Cuts. It works real well for me. As when you put that in, you'll start seeing the high beetle population go down and down and down and down. When I saw how well these worked on my hives, I was going to make and sell them but I decided to put this on YouTube and give everybody a chance to use them. And I have spent countless hours searching and testing each product before I found one that works. Now I'm going to rely on the generosity of the honeybee community, and if you could send me a donation for this great idea, it would be greatly appreciated, and thank you for watching this video, and good luck with your honeybees.